Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, I want to encourage you today, my child, that whatever you are going through, especially if it feels like hell, don't stop. Keep going. You will get through this with my help. Yes, no matter the dark valleys that you have been walking through, my child, no matter the mountains that have been before you that are not budging, and no matter the giants that have been intimidating you for so long, my child, I am with you, not just to comfort you through the valleys of life. I am not with you just to see that mountain cast into the ocean or to see those giants slain before you. For I went to the cross that you could have life in me and that you would never be alone again. When it becomes too much for you, my child, remember, when you can't go on, I can, my child. Yes, for I am always working to better your life in me, my child. So just because you might not see or understand what is happening doesn't mean it's not part of my plan. For you, my child, therefore, trust my plan, even when you don't understand my path at times. So, if you have been feeling forsaken lately, my child, know that I have never left you. Rather, you have just listened to the lies of the enemy. Satan to you is like a roaring lion that tries to frighten you with his ferocious roar and all of his lies. But know this, my child, he is and will only ever be a mouse with a microphone to me, my child. He is a defeated foe that you have nothing to be worried about when he lives under your feet, my child. Yes, he is defeated at the cross and I have given you all authority to overcome and keep him at bay when you are covered under my protection. See, when it really comes down to it, my child, it doesn't matter how much friends or family that you may have. It only matters of me, your shepherd and saviour that goes through the valley with you. For only I, only I really understand you, my child. For when I hung on the cross for you, I said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why, you may say. For at that very moment, my father had turned his back on me. At that very time, I had taken all of mankind's sins, past, present and future, upon myself. See, my child, I was willing to be alone then, so that you would never have to be alone ever, my child. When I promised that I would never leave you or forsake you, I made it possible from the sacrifice on the cross. So the next time that you may be feeling alone, remember, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you are not alone for I am your shepherd that walks with you every step of the way. Yes, you will walk through the dark valleys at times, but you will come out on the other side hand in hand with me, your shepherd. Remember, I am the way, the truth and the life, my child, and in me, the source of life, all exists. For all life is sustained by my self-existent life. Yes, my Father has shared this gift with you in creating you in our image and has given you all the capacity to know our eternal life. For this is eternal life that you may know us, my child, that you may know your heavenly Father in heaven. Heaven, through me, the Son, by the way and help of the Holy Spirit. Yes, I am the resurrection and the life, and the one who believes in me will live even though they may die, my child. Remember, I can bring you from ruins to restoration. I can bring you from your problems to my presence.
provisions, from your depression to my deliverance, from your sickness to my divine healing. No matter what Satan is throwing at you today, I will restore my child when you learn to trust in me. It is I who gives you the strength to carry on, for you were never designed to do things in your own strength. Yes, I have always intended to help you by strengthening you and I will step into your situation and make you strong my child so don't give up or get discouraged today my child for I am with you to strengthen you always I will do a new thing my child and now it shall spring forth yes I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert for you I am your God I am your provider I am your healer your deliverer and I will make a way for you. Therefore, be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. When we turn to the book of Hebrews and we go to chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he he was righteous, God testifying of his gift, and through it he, being dead, still speaks. By faith Enoch was taken away, so that he did not see death, and was not found because God had taken him. And before he was taken, he had this testimony, and he please God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hallelujah. Let us just turn to that part when we go to verse 1. It says that faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. See, by faith we understand. Faith at the dawn of history, it is always there. The whole of Hebrews 11 is talking about faith. And we've all been through difficult times within life. But it is our faith that gets us through the most difficult of times that we could ever possibly even understand or comprehend. Remember, God is good at all times, despite of our conditions, despite of our circumstances, God is good all the time. Hallelujah. See, the reoccurring refrain throughout this chapter is by faith. It was the gift of faith that kept God's people going even under the most difficult circumstances. They were ordinary people like you and like me with the same kinds of weaknesses and feelings and emotions. They too gave in to temptations. They too must have had their doubts at times. They too must have wondered at times where God was. But it was because of God's gift of faith that these ordinary people were able to live extraordinary lives. It is by faith that you and I will be able to keep going this year, receiving God's gift of faith. And through the eyes of faith, you will be able to see the one that who is the author and the perfecter of our faith. Make sure that you have received the gift of faith by turning to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the only way to keep going throughout into the years of head. No matter what you are going through, saints, God has promised to make a way for you. He 
is a way maker. And if you will just put your trust in him, lean not on your own understanding, but all your ways, acknowledge him, his ways, his precepts, his word, he will make a way for you also. Let us pray, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the gift of faith. Help us to look at life through the eyes of faith. Help us as ordinary people to live extraordinary lives. Lord, we pray today we receive your strength within our hearts and life at this very moment. Lord, that we may do what we need to do with your strength to hold, to sustain and to guide us each step of the way. Whatever the devil is throwing our way, so shall come to pass because you are with us and you have given us all authority. In the name of Jesus, we cut Satan and his demons and curses loose from us today and our family and friends. In the name of Jesus, we command you, Satan, and all your evil spirits and curses to loosen from us and our families today and all the things that you have stolen from us that are ours through the blessings of Jesus Christ. We ask you, Lord, to send your warrior angels to bring these things back to us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, according to Proverbs 6.31, if a thief be found, he must return back seven times and we have the right to plunder even his house. Send forth your angels to return everything that the devil has stolen unto us because according to John 10.10, the devil comes as a thief to kill, steal and destroy. Therefore we identify you as a thief today and you will return back seven times. Send forth your angels Lord to bring it back to us. Father God in the name of Jesus we loose your power over ourselves and over our family and over our loved ones today in the name of Jesus. We ask you to send your holy angels to fight our battles in the heavenlies. Let them guard us from Satan and all of his wicked angels who have and would have anything against us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we bind and cancel all deception within us and prevalent around us. Any deception going between us, around us or through us in the name of Jesus. Upon all fears, we loose today the perfect agape love and true and pure love that only comes from God and our love for one another. Lord, I pray for a sound mind and self self-control today in the name of Jesus Christ. Upon our minds, we loosen knowledge, revelation and understanding today. Wisdom, truth, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, even diligently searching you today with all of our hearts. Lord, I pray for deliverance to come upon your people in the name of Jesus, upon all their marriages, against all their family members, any destroying spirits that are coming against them. Deliver them, Lord. We loose God's family's protection of his angels as a hedge of protection as we draw a bloodline around their families in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we thank you upon all rejection. We loose the love of your brethren today in acceptance in the beloved and accepted approved of men and the adoption as children of God in the name of Jesus. We pray that we loosen upon us your power of praise today Day. thankfulness, worship, singing, Lord, prayer, and all the Holy Spirit's fruit according to Galatians 5, love, joy, peace, patience, long-suffering, and gentleness, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control, and all the gifts of the Holy Spirit according to 1 Corinthians 12 verse 8 to 10, wisdom, knowledge, faith, and also prophecies, healings, miracles, tongues, interpretation of tongues, discernment of spirits, Lord, quiet and constraining, contrite heart. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for that spirit of repentance and conviction to come upon each person's their life today. Lord, touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, we bind up every power of the enemy that is coming against your people today. You will loosen your glory, your anointing upon each person. Lord, that they may have a spirit of excellence today to go forth and expand in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hindering spirit, every blocking spirit, every obstacle that's in their way be removed today in the name of Jesus Christ. You've given us all authority today. We walk by faith and
and not by sight today. Touch your people. Fill them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Bless your people today as you start to move and move in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way as the people are seeking you. Lord, I pray for each person that partakes of this weekend's fast. Lord, I pray for their breakthroughs. I thank you for the river of God, Lord, that you have provided for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now as you love them and you bless them today in Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also share this prayer or share these prophecies with someone that needs encouragement today. God has everything under control. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. You can also go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. And don't forget, we've got the seven-day crossover fasting corporate program that will be from the 20. Monday the 28th of December 2000, uh, 2022 uh, all the way to the 3rd of January uh, 2021. So I encourage you to partake of that seven day fasting program. All the instructions are there to guide you, to get you through. I encourage you to participate that you may receive the blessings as we declare and decree God's blessings into 2021. So I encourage you to participate of that. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.